<laughs> All right. I won't have much to really say since I haven't played it. Okay. Yeah, I won't either. But I'll just kind of be here. I'll just be Same. here too. Oh, save a bit of I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change my name to uh, Terry the Turtle. So I'm gonna... <laughs> Terry the Turtle. <laughs> I don't know. How about uh, Franklin the the Mad Franklin? <laughs> or uh, McBatty McBattenstein? Or Chad Cruz number fan? Who's okay, okay, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. You're freaking... One. Yeah, I know you'll like this, but John Cena is Nickelback. Roman Reigns <laughs> is Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh, my God. Dang. That's just sad. Yeah. It's like World War Z. Or... That even though I like both Cena and Reigns, you actually kind of have a point, actually. Yeah. World War Z, you're killing a bunch of Nickelback fans like, I mean, from the undead. Cena, you know, to me, he just got annoying around 2010. Like, back then he was tolerable. But, like. Then, like, the US Open Challenge stuff came and he started to uh, be good again. What do you mean, the burial challenge? I guess it's cool that he turns heel and all, but he should have done that a long time ago. It's kind of a little too late for that. And it's like, I hear he's wanting to start doing stuff in, like, Hollywood. He's been thinking about that Being the while. hypocrite he is. He's like, not serious AEW, man. He's like, I want to I wanna be a full-time wrestler. If John Cena went to AEW, then... That would... That would that shake, would kill WWE. That would shake some, that would shake some shit up there. <laughs> that would ruffle some feathers. Yes. Yep. See ya, punk. All right, guys, I'm back. Guys, I'm back. All right. All right. Welcome back. I just want to get my pastrami fries that I got earlier. I'm gonna go uh, get some supper. Go ahead. Go on. Go ahead, guys. Oh, how's the one Sunday today? Uh, not bad. I'm just basically. Playing World War, reviewing World War Z, killing some zombies. Nice. They climb up the wall looking for uh, the lost Logan Paul merch, I guess. Nice. I'm trying to finish up the game on PS4. I'm it's trying to finish up Days Gone right now. Game. Shit's mad long. Okay. I'm probably basically trying to get the level nice. three trust with all that there, with the Copeland's camp, and it's going to take a while to get there. Around round 195, around a 2 something, I need to get to that. But, back to World War Z. The graphics are pretty good, but it's like a budget version of Days Gone, basically. Yeah, it has zombies like Days Gone, but this was more of a budget title because it's like a, like based on a movie, but uh, imagine a, a, a crap ton of zombies chasing after you. That's what it is. It's not really. So, like a Walking Dead type of game? Yeah, but better than Walking Dead Survival Instinct there. Actually playable. Uh -oh. They say it's like Left 4 Dead there because you got four people teaming up there, AI and that there, and mm -hmm. plays one of the people in your and you got free AI partners, I guess. They added more like more levels now there. They got more more different areas in that there. They added that within the patch notes now. So I think they only had three or four levels at release there, but they have more than that now. So like it's, like, it's a multiplayer game, right? Single player multiplayer, yes. Yo yo yo, what's up? Oh hey, well, welcome back. We're doing the review. Yeah, we're doing it. They're trying, but. All right, what's up, people? Perfect Welch here, and I see we're reviewing World War Z. I've seen some trailers of this game but i haven't seen much past that i don't know much about this game i've never played it i'm gonna be honest but i'm here for a star power effect i guess yeah he is with draven crow so yeah that's the cool part if he's still here uh troy right, got so stuff to eat so. yeah troy's got his mic muted for the 45th time there 
I think Corey's. Me- I think. Yeah, right. he's been doing that a lot in the podcast, but he's just had trouble with his mic. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think Corey's fucking with his mic, maybe. Nah. Oh, well, being chased by thousands, of, hundreds of zombies there. Ah, uh, just look, like the game. Yeah, just like the movie, being chased by a hundred zombies. Like, oh, want some, want some foods. But it is what it is. It's basically fun, fun asking there. It's really good there. Like, is there like a storyline to this, or it's just like, like? Just kill zombies and then that's it. Just kill zombies and get to the that's safe a- house there. There's, you can inter- interact with different AI characters and you have like objectives and shit like that there. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's not really anything mind blowing there. It's not like uh, this big narrative there. Well, he sounds more fun, I guess. Like, oh, it's just fun for just fun for craziness there. And you play this on the PS4 or an Xbox? PlayStation 4. Oh, okay. The Xbox fans need to play this game because it's the only thing they get equivalent to these gone, so. Yeah. So this game's like Days Gone, right? Yeah, with zombies and stuff like that, yeah. Ah, that's good, because I like Days Gone. Well, I might like this, so. What about Killing Floor? That one's like, good. Is it something like that? Yeah. Killing Floor is similar to Killing Floor, but Killing Floor has like crazy ass monsters there. What about Left 4 Dead? Yes, uh, they're all, all all kind of the same in that aspect there. Oh, alright. But these guys are more like similar. You know what? You know what? I'd rather play World War Z than freaking Metal Gear Survive. Metal Gear Survive, you won't survive all pl- this gameplay. Uh, Metal Gear Survive is so bad. <laughs> Gosh, I miss how good the Metal Gear series used to be. Yeah. And hey. now we ruined it! They killed it. Yeah. They did. Dream's At least Snake is in Smash again, so... At least we got something out of it. And it's David Hayter, so... But Metal Gear is pretty much a dead series, so... Yeah, they brought back Contra, I surprisingly. Kojima don't have the rights to that. I'm not trying to get off topic, but I agree with Corey's video that he made, that some stuff was just meant to end. Like, with Chucky, I think it should have ended with the third movie. And, you know, I think most of us agree on that. And with Halo, it should have ended with the third game. They could have done, like, re-releases. But that's it. They should have moved on to Gears of War being the next big Xbox franchise by then. Yeah. It just got milked to death. But uh, the thing was... Sorry, the... I just didn't get that, that Yo. over the chest. You want to know what movie should have stopped? Fast and Furious. They're just milking it at this point. Yeah. They fucking With the are. War. Like, you think the MCU's bad? This is worse. Like the first There's couple of movies. the first couple of Fast and Furious movies, they were pretty decent. Decent movies had The Rock, had Vin Diesel, you know, had those guys. But the thing is, Paul it's Walker. Like, it should have stopped after Paul Walker. I'm sorry to say because he was kind of like the main, like this like one of the other main guys along with Vin Diesel because the they star of the franchise. Yeah, it's been milk dry. Like we fucking get it. Just. Leave it be. Like, the movie used to be about cars. Movies, like, like, why are we gonna make so many sequels to a movie about fucking cars? Fast and Furious 2030. Sorry, like, no, no other than The Rock. <laughs> More like Fat and Curious. That's gonna. Is this like, <laughs> How about Horny and Curious? It's been beat. Oh, no. It's just. I think it's the most milked movie franchise of all time. Yes. It is. It's more milk than that. Oh, you're dead, Draven? <laughs> They're just gonna call it Furious. <laughs> they already got fast in there. Sass- furious, but with more cars, and and that's it. <laughs> wheelchair and the Furious. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be all wheelchair. They team up with Pixar, and they do Fast and Furious, the Cars edition. 
Then they had a crossover with yeah, freaking like, um. Uh, what? What? Just I I won't even watch another Fast and Furious movie for a while just because of how milk it is. But yeah, you go back to what you were saying, TJ. Uh, oh God, excuse me. Oh God, watch they have like so many the crossovers that has cars in it. I got I got one for an idea for a new fat Fast and Furious movie here. I'll call it wheel wheelchair and the furious. They're gonna be racing. Oh, they're gonna be re- oh no! They're gonna be racing in wheelchairs. <laughs> You're giving them ideas. The next thing you know, they're gonna re- remake it. <laughs> and then twenty years from now, they're gonna make remakes of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or they're gonna have a poor movie called Fat and the Furious. <laughs> oh no! Just my God! Why are you ruining this? Already ruined as it is. Yeah, this is the most random shit we ever done. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Killer G. You and your random pokiness. <laughs> no, it's my fault. No, I, mean, I just had to get something off my chest, and then TJ needed to, and everyone else. And then it just. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it went downhill from there. Yeah. Sorry, this is not our best review there. Nobody should have believed it. Nobody should have believed it. Nope. What I believe in is play World War Z, or if, if you like a crazy ass zombie game with a bunch of zombies chasing after you, have fun. What would you rate it, Killer Jay? Uh, I'll give it like an 8. Uh, uh, not 8, but uh, uh, probably like a 7 point to 8, I guess. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well then, uh, I guess a uh, perfect watch tying out. Yeah. I think you guys later. Draven signing out, guys. Later. All right. Good talking to you guys, Draven. Welcome, welcome to this podcast, and I respect you. Yeah. It was a pleasure being yeah. here. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Peace. No problem. Okay, Charlie, your part there. You didn't say much, sir. You go ahead. Still there, Trevor? What the fuck? Oh, man. Well. 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 Uh, let Trevor speak for a bit. See, let's see. Come up with some crazy ideas, Trevor. For what? Just say some random shit there. Say some funny shit. Like you usually do, there. Hmm. <laughs> Nickelback will one day cause the apocalypse when they collaborate with Imagine Dragon. Got any more crazy shit that you. Crazy Furies, Trevor? You guys like my gauntlet? Yeah, Yeah. I'm about to snap in a few seconds. Ah, yeah. I love that gauntlet. I just wish it worked. You know, how many, you know how many fanboys that's what so badly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do it, TJ. Go all out. Go all out, Trevor. You too. There, snap. Now get rid of these fanboys and bad people and with bad obsolete taste. meals and... <laughs> Get rid of anyone named Quacky the Quacker. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my no, name changed, none. remember? No, you didn't. You didn't change yeah. your name. You're going to have to change Yet. it. You're going to have to change it now. Uh, Alright, guys. Uh, Alright, that's pretty much a wrap, out. sir. <laughs> uh, you guys take it easy, then. All right. Yeah. I'm heading out. See ya.